Today's video, we are gonna be going over the top five tools that I recommend. I can't tell you how much Google My Business has helped transform a lot of local businesses that I have worked with, and it's very simple to use. Hello, welcome to Grow With Morgan. I am Brandy Morgan, and we talk about everything from digital marketing strategies to SEO, to social media, to help either you, the business owner, or the social media manager, or digital marketer, win through data-driven and proven strategies for building brand and revenue. Today's video, we are gonna be going over the top five tools that I recommend if you are a location-dependent business, meaning you're a spa owner, a hairdresser, nail salon, day spa, anything where you are very much dependent on local traffic to grow your business's revenue and imprint. The first tool is called Geo Imager. Everything will be linked below. This is a tool that actually lets you put your actual GPS, like location, the points, the coordinates, for your business into the images on your website. It also lets you have a description that is super specific to that image that uses keywords as well as tags that are keyword specific to that image and of course to your location and your business. Why is this important? Well, Google is going to read your images that are on your site. And if you have the coordinates for where your business is actually located, that's gonna help when people search spas near me or where can I get my hair done? Because Google works with where your location is. So the more times that you have your location actually embedded in your images, Google is gonna give you the thumbs up to recommend you when people search like Botox near me. Geo Imager is a service that I pay for. I use it in my own businesses because I help people win online through these types of web strategies for location-based businesses. The next tool is Google Trends. This is something that is owned by Google. You can go to any browser, type in Google Trends, and you can search for trends specific to your type of business, whether it's your industry, the vertical that you're in, and even down to the specific location. This helps with content creation to find out what people are searching for in your area or what people are searching for in your niche so you can create content around that. Creating content around what people are searching for is gonna help you shoot to the top of Google for when people are actually there to read your content and go to your site. Number three is Moz Local. Moz Local is an extension of Moz, but this actually helps create cohesive citations and listings for your business across local platforms. So Google obviously wants to know that what it is that your business is saying and doing is accurate, meaning your URL, your actual name, the keywords, the description of your business, the phone number, the email address, the social media handles. Moz Local and Moz in general, they have tools that let you keep track of all that information in one place and you basically input it all in one area and then you hit update and it'll update it across all of those listings. This is really, really important because if you have information that is not correct across different listings, it doesn't look good in the eyes of Google, therefore it can hurt your ranking on Google. I've had customers where they've changed their phone numbers or their URLs and they forget that they have to update it across everywhere on the internet. Using tools like Moz Local, and there's other ones out there, it will pull in those listings and let you update them automatically. Number four, this is very specific to Instagram, and this is called the $80 app. The $80 app is an extension of something that Gary V talked about, or that is my understanding of it. The $80 method is how you engage with people on Instagram. And really this method can be carried across any social platform, but the particular app that I'm talking about is specific for Instagram and Instagram engagement. It allows you to find local businesses or local influencers or people just local to where it is that you are by searching your location and you can then like and comment on their posts. The reason why this is so important is the $80 method is not only liking their comment but posting something meaningful. On the app itself, you can create generic responses to people. You can use them up to 10 times per day. 
meaning you have to create unique and authentic responses to people or comments to people and use them on multiple people throughout the day. They want you to do this up to 90 different accounts. This means you wanna like and use these specific comments to then hopefully draw traffic back to your Instagram profile or your business. So when you're creating these comments, make sure they are super specific. When I've used this service for my customers, I try not to actually just generically post on them. I like to actually comment very specifically to people that are engaging on this platform. The reason why it's so important to be authentic and be engagement is because you can tell when it's a bot leaving comments for you. The $1.80 method really helps you be unique in your voice, but it also does it in a way where you can post it across a few different accounts where it doesn't sound like a bot is responding or replying to their comments. Last but not least, this is the holy grail for local business. This is something I talk about that I will be talking about a lot on this channel and it is Google My Business. Google My Business is free to set up, but you do need to have your own business entity and Google will send you a postcard to your physical location so it can verify you, but you can have a Google My Business for digital services that you sell as well. So this isn't just location-based, but it has helped because I work with a lot of location-based businesses. All you need on Google My Business after you get it set up is you need to post consistently on there. You need to post offers, post updates, make sure you have all the services listed on there. Moz Local does help you keep this in order for your services and your listing and all that information. But the posts, the updates and the offers are what I'm here for and I can tell you it matters, it makes a difference. Google loves when you are posting updates and offers to your audience because when people search for your business or search for the keywords that are gonna land them to their business, the offers and the updates that you post on there, those show up and so people are gonna click on them. I can't tell you how much Google My Business has helped transform a lot of local businesses that I have worked with and it's very simple to use. You just need someone to actually create engaging graphics and write meaningful content to get people to click on them and to book the services with your business. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, or please dislike. Let me know how you're feeling about the content. And of course, please let me know in the comments if there is a particular topic that you want me to cover on this channel. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.